Hello YouTube. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you're a returning viewer. So in this episode we're going to be in episode 4 of our Valheim series and we're going to be going through a tour of the village. Uh, some time has passed since episode 3 uh, between work and buddies erratic schedules. Uh, some work has gotten done off camera. Uh, we're going to go through a tour of that work. Uh, we'll show you where we left off at on the warehouse you saw in last video you'll get to see the completed warehouse uh, at least the outside of it in this video and so enough of me talking let's get to the video jump between uh, video three and now a uh, whole lot of farming and building we haven't really done much of our exploration well, this is the uh, hall that I built for us my room sorry room aka Ragnar Road. And one of the, uh, this room, or the one down there, will be uh, Dejen's room. This is the crafting nook. The windows you can see all the way around. Kind of a little cathedral roof on this side. And this is where the blacksmithing shop's going to be. And our bees are up here. And this is high enough up that this is all that will stay standing. Uh, put these other pieces of roof in, try to put the support post across there, it all collapses. So we have the fence all the way around to there and starts over there in the water. So let's go take a walk around town. Side view. And so these angled pieces support on the front. I'm going to add those back here on the back later for the whole symmetry sake. Give you a point of reference. Uh, I've got a clip from one of the earlier videos where you can see what the angle looks like from here 
before we did all the clearing to build that. Uh, we fixed that little house that was down there. And built that little warehouse down there. these palisades they go literally all the way down into the water as the road goes back up to the starting point so when you spawn into the world there actually be a road head straight to the camp from there Another point of reference. This is about where the original house uh, from the first couple of videos was. And I tore it down, built that hall, uh, which is now a warehouse. Built the dock. Uh, took this little house that was facing this way. Uh, took it down because originally we were going to have the bridge go across right there, which we may still do another one there. And then rebuilt it over here. I'll take another look at that here in a second. And then get this walkway that goes across that bridge up to the new hall. And goes down here to the docks. Crafting table for the dock. And this is the high tide dock. That is the low tide dock. As you can see. So when we have rafts, they're usually sitting right in here. Uh, sometimes we'll throw an extra one over here. over here in one of the other videos I was standing right here by this rock and this was all forest now it's all open meadows and yes during high tide that actually gets pretty much all underwater oh look So I'll come around here and switch to the bow. Good food though. We got a bunch of their meals to need to cook up. Takes care of those. Uh, 
still don't figure how to get the fish other than fishing. Uh, I did get one fish a couple days ago. Uh, it actually washed up like on the shore here during low tide, got stuck, and then just clubbed it and took the mate and walked away. So you can get fish without fishing. Uh, So we are now going out the south gate, which leads to the outpost that Ragnar built. And built this road to make it easier to get to his outpost, uh, which is over here at the edge of the Black Forest. Usually this walks pretty, fairly safe, fairly eventless most of the time. Man, tons of flint. Come on, son. Oh, look at that. Got wrecked with the fisticuffs. Didn't even use a weapon on him. Man, he needs to go back to self-defense school, right? Yeah, we used to say in the army, you fight like you train. Apparently that little grayling didn't train very much. <laughs> Still got a bunch of flint. Alright. So, we the road. And we have not really been down here to the outpost much. Recent being. There is a troll. Oh well. Another time. There he is. That troll up there has basically been camping our outpost. I've been meaning to load up on arrows and come out here. So, bring our head built just this little first floor part here got his basics at that for him added that second floor up there 
little stand there that was when we originally were fighting the portal over there. It looks like there's some blue mist over there again. But we got rid of the, there was a purple porter right there. We got rid of it. There were skeletons. That's over there. What is he eating? I can't believe that when they get spooked. But hey, that's more deer skins. Well, here comes the storm. So I've also collected another pretty large batch of wood, almost a full chest of wood, because uh, I am planning on building myself a new house, uh, more of a, probably a little more modern style house. Storms in this game are no fun, if you're at sea at least doesn't really bother you uh, being in storms in the game just reduces your stamina some so one big reason to put that palisade wall up was we were having a lot of the forest is moving events The one that got me to build the wall was two game days. Alright. Well, this is our community chess. stuff that we share. Uh, one of the things you want to make sure you do too is keep track of all your trophies. Because they are actually used for a couple uh, recipes.
But it's really storms this is the time I like to go ahead and do some of the other crafting. Um, look here's wooden arrows. So craft those. Craft those. Craft those. That gives me that. This is the wood I've got for building my house. Yeah, may take that much, may not. We'll see. Need to find a bunch more skeletons. video and I just kind of gave you a tour around things next video we'll pick up and find some more stuff to do during the storm probably just go do some hunting for some more necks and some more boars uh, get some more food and to stock up on uh, the hides so, at one point, you may find a, one of these stones that tells you, uh, just in case something happens, make sure you always have spare equipment. Uh, true. Uh, dying is something that happens a lot if you're not really careful. Um, trees can kill you. That troll will kill you in one hit if you're at normal health. Uh, make sure uh, every time you're anywhere near... A workbench go ahead make sure you repair everything because it's free take advantage of that while you got it now, this is why you see me hunting the deer is yes, I'm wanting to make another set of leather armor uh, just for exploring I mean I've got plenty I could go ahead and just make it a rag set If I can find one, I may show you a trick that I figured out for how to get fine wood without having the bronze axe yet. So you need a bronze axe if you're going to cut down the uh, birch or oak trees because they're too hard to cut down with the stone or flint axe. But you can cut them um, down by felling trees into them. So if you cut down a beech tree, it lands on a birch tree, then it can drop the birch tree. And then if you can push the birch tree up a hill and let it roll into a rock, roll into another log, then that will make it break up the same as if you had been beating it with the axe. And you can just keep doing that with the big tree that fell and then the two logs that it creates when it breaks keep rolling them and you can get the fine wood from breaking those up not real easy sometimes uh, a little time consuming and you have to get lucky well you only have to get lucky enough that a tree hits it because uh, if you had one say this was a birch tree you drop this beech tree and you want to take that one down but it fell that way you can still just roll it into it and just keep hitting it and hitting it. Uh, actually, that's another tip I can give you. Is let's come over here. Grab one of these. And here, I think it's in this one. Uh, I put it back in this one. Aha! All right. So there is a method to my madness. So, hey, building. 
that post there. Now say clubs. So if I wanted to work on my club skills, I can just Yeah, the purpose of doing this is if you notice my arrested's not changing. Now this increases the rate at which you gain the XP for that skill that you're training. And see how much faster your stamina recharges. If you'll notice my comfort of five up there is because my bed's right there. My deerskin rug is right there. And the fire's right here. And so with being in the middle here, I get the bonus for the fire, the bonus for being inside, and the bonus for being near my bed and near a rug. And then there's also another rug uh, right there by the front door. And so with those comfort bonuses, my stamina recharges very, very fast. And I'll sit here and keep doing this with whatever skill. You can use any weapon to do this. Uh, you can use your unarmed. You could use the axe. You could use the club, the knife. Uh, and I forget the one, what the other ones are. Once that's damaged, yes, you did lose uh, those pieces of wood. So, where right, normally if you just go tear something down, you get the lumber back. Uh, this scenario, you know what? Let's test that real quick before we wrap this up here. So let's do an eight. We'll put that down. Back to our weapon. Pull this in. And let's go to something we don't have a high skill in. Uh, I don't need that right now. Uh, sure, let's do that one. So we'll take our pole arm. Again, the most rest of you can have, the better, because you recharge that much faster. And we'll just keep hitting this. You see, we've already gotten a couple levels out of doing this. Now, the higher you get these levels, the less stamina it takes per attack. If you want to do this fast, this rested uh, bonus is so worth it. Alright, all right, so you don't lose any wood. You get it all back. So you can do that as much as you want. And see, now that we've done some damage to the club and the spike, I can just do. Now those are all fixed. Yeah, it looks like the storm has passed, but it's late night time. So, we'll end this here for now. And in the next video, maybe we'll go take on that troll. See how fast he can actually kill us. Because <laughs> I've got the arrows, but I don't know that that's going to be enough to take him down. Uh, especially if uh, Ragnar is not online, because usually if we find something big like a pack of skeletons or something, I'll be the uh, tank. He'll sit back and pick them off while I'm beating them up. 
and we team drop stuff. Uh, that was how we actually beat the first boss, the deer, bo deer god, uh, pretty easily. I tanked it while he was picking it off with arrows. And it worked pretty good. If you're gonna try to tank, uh, you need to make sure that you are stocked up well on food. But we'll cover that in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you found anything useful in here or enjoyed any of this, then feel free to let me know with a little like. And that'll wrap this video up. Thank you. See you in the next episode. So thanks for watching the video. Glad you came. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to see our upcoming videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure that you get all the notifications when we put out our latest videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to check out the other videos in the series that you may want to watch as well. Thank you. Have a great day.